Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. I'm here to spring it down. I grabbed the uh, short sword from the guard upstairs that we killed off camera because you can only use uh, swords with shields in this game. Or axes, any one handed weapon. But daggers and staves are both uh, two handed weapons. You can't block arrows with weapons, you gotta use a shield. Archers are easily my most hated enemy of this entire game. Just act like we belong. Over here, knock these guys out with this. Might actually kill them. I don't remember. I have my shield equipped to this guy. Yeah, I saw a quiver on him. What happened to the guards that are right here? I hear them, I don't see them. Oh, there's one. Well, less of those guys we have to worry about. Um, I thought... I don't happen to the other guy that was over there. I guess he just went and sunk into the floor. Alright. Let's start the daggers for a bit. I'm not a big fan of the daggers. The adrenaline move. Did I hear something? Stop right there. Or it... The adrenaline move is weird. Um, there's two of them for the daggers. I'll show it to you real quick. This is one of them. It's range and it auto targets, which is really nice. When I'm in the middle of combat, it's not it always uh, catches me off guard. But it's really good for taking out archers. Also, the daggers have a really weird range. Uh, it's like you're wielding spears. You have a lot more range than the daggers than you think you do. I'll try to showcase it up here. What was that? Also, my dagger is only plus one, so it takes two uh, ground stabs or finishing moves to kill a guy, which I'm not a big fan of. And I'll upgrade my stealth so I don't get to use better daggers. I'm actually just going to switch to my quarter staff here. Or combat staff, whatever. There we go. Don't try to run. So fire. Kills human enemies if they just touch it. At least in the beginning of the game. I don't know if they get stronger later on. For now, though, it's an instant kill. I don't remember there being any secrets in the garden. Uh, let's just take a quick peek around. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing out here. All the good stuff is inside. Keep looking. We need to get inside and secure the crystal. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm working on it. You activate this. Uh, this is the uh, guest house you came out of, and there's the crane and stuff where we fought those guys. I don't know why you'd want to backtrack here. There's not any real reason to. I guess if you left food or something behind, because you're full, full of food rations. Yeah, secrets in here are pretty easy. Oh, Inside at last. Good job. Let's I know there's a guy going. over here. Probably in his bedroom. Oh, no, his place is under attack. Maybe he's not in his bedroom. Did I hear some? Don't move, buddy. Come on. Show some skill. There we go. All right. So back here, I know there's a secret back here. It's not very hard to find. Really, you should be shifting around items as much as you can anyway. Just so come over here. Get these barrels out of the way. Let's switch to something that's not as uh stop right there or it gets ugly. Yeah. 
Is he dead yet? Nope. This should do it. And now he's a corpse. Fantastic. Oh, sweet. Barrels. Yeah, if you come over here, clear all these barrels out of the way, you'll find your first ring. It is a, uh... It's a crit ring. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, if you're just being thorough in your exploration, you shouldn't miss this. Uh, ring of the Weapon Master, plus 2% chance to perform a critical hit. Pretty good. Now the next secret is kind of easy to find. If you're being thorough, you'd probably find it, but also I have the skill alertness that'll locate it for me. This made Shayok out of riding wagon. Don't try to run. Yeah, combat's not super hard, especially if there's traps and stuff nearby. There's a couple areas where it's a little more challenging, because you don't have traps readily available. But yeah, since I have alertness equipped, the stone is glowing. You just go ahead and hit it. Sarah, very good. We should keep an eye out for more of these. Now, you need to be careful in here. Um, there's a chest in here that's, I think, booby-trapped, but I've never figured out how to bypass the trap. I'll show you what I mean when we get in here. Like, it tends to just kill me, so... I don't know if the little spiders can poison you. There's an antidote and health potion, so... Um, since they give you an antidote, I'm assuming they can. So there's a chest right there. I'm gonna save real quick. Alright, so if you approach the chest from the front... I have no idea what kills you there. It looks like there might be a hole above me. I just wanted to showcase that. Uh, what I do to... No, yeah, I have no idea what kills you here. What I do is just come over here to the side. And activate it, and there's a full health potion in there. Just grab it and leave. The first time I played that, I spent a very long time trying to figure out what it was that was killing me in there. To no avail, by the way. Swing? Screw you, dude. Get on fire. Easy peasy. Is that a pie? No, it's a pan. I can't go that way. Some mushrooms. Fantastic. Alright, up ahead, somewhere, there's an area that I really hate because there's a bunch of archers there. Don't move, buddy. Alright, good. He caught on fire. Alright, here is an archer. This isn't the place I was thinking of, though. anything here in here worth grabbing. Is that a bone? Yeah, it's a bone. Okay. This next area must be the place that I hate. I am going to save before I go in there. I don't think my hotkeys are actually set up the way I thought they were. So play it safe. See where he went? You can get up there. 
I like ran across the pillar too. I didn't realize that. Hey pal. Hey pal. Ah! What hit me? What? Is that the oh, archer call? Oh, I do recommend collecting shields because they do deteriorate over time. Come on, thing, hit him. Awesome. <laughs> I never get tired of watching that. Now, if that hits you, it will kill you. But you can um, kick guys into it. Let's run to the other side real quick. Oh, they're actually going to follow me. Alright, then hold the line right here. There we go. That should do it. <laughs> All right. Oh, that didn't kill you? Really? That should do it, right? What is this guy over here doing? Oh, there's two of you. All right, well, come on. Yeah, but all right. I think we're in the clear now. All right. So up ahead, this is a secret I accidentally found. Uh, I think my second time there. It may have been my first time. A wizard robe. I don't remember that being here. Can't equip it. I'll have magic affinity. But if you. Nice, oh, some books. What was this one called? The Book of Sorcerer Sorceress Mastery. Know ye that if ye wish to obtain the key to mastering thine own skill of sorcery, thou must tread many dark paths and study that which is eldritch and hidden. In the red litten depths of the sorceress mind lies the true essence of wizardry, of the power beyond this world that the dragons have granted unto us. Yet they say there is a power beyond power, an ancient source to all the greater magics in the world who slumbers and sleeps, awaiting the day of awakening. Meditate well on this, and ye shall find thy sorceress power increasing. Okay. Book of Ghouls. It is well known that ghouls are the ravenous spirits of the dead, return to reanimate lifeless corpses and imbue them with an insatiable hunger for flesh. Some say that those who died of starvation can become ghouls, while others, most notably Balthazar, in his seminal treatise on the nature of the unquiet dead, postulate that any who die of privation or, or want can become ghouls. Darker whispers state that necromancers can create ghouls by forcing unwilling spirits into into dead bodies. Regardless of origin, ghouls are widespread wherever the necromancers have extended their tendrils. Indeed, disturbance of cemeteries by ghouls is one of the first signs that a necromancer cabal is near. Stronger than men and more agile as well, ghouls are nevertheless ruled by this ancient hunger for dead and rotting flesh. However, when they cannot find proper sustenance to feed their immortal hunger, they are more than content to manufacture their own foodstuffs from the living. I thought there was something behind this curtain. Alright, so if you look... Maybe it's not this one. Here it is. Alright, so a strange candelabra was sitting on the left of the fireplace here. You come over here. Boom. Place it over there. And another secret. I don't remember what's in here, though. Scroll of Fireball, Ring of Arcane Brilliance, Full Health Potion, and another Scroll of Fireball. Uh, what does the ring do? Pleasant, plus 10 mana? I'll just keep the crit for now. Yeah. I feel pretty good about that. Remembering that that was there. shields as well because again they degrade over time 
Wait, this one's at 144 out of 180. I don't think you ever get an, ind an indestructible shield in this game. You might. I don't remember, though. Hello, friend. You won't make it. Yeah? And who are you to decide that? Alright, he's dead because he dropped his weapon. This is the same staircase, yeah. Can't go down, you can only go up. What was that? It's a friend. Don't move, buddy. Restore us 10 health, really? That's a little disappointing. Alright, we'll come back to the library. If you continue going up these stairs here. Quiver, an old key. Gonna need that for something later. Jenna, please sweep and clean the tower. There are cobwebs and dust everywhere. I left you the key and expect it to be done by tomorrow. Metal lag. Alright, I remember where the tower is at, I think. It's not, um to the next area. Explore around. I thought there's a secret in here. You could drop down behind some bookshelves. Might be mistaken. I don't think I am. All right, I think I know how to get there. Let's um activate this. All right, there's one secret. There's a lot of secrets in this area. It's very fun to explore. Especially your first time and you're right there or it gets ugly. If it's your first time and you're accidentally like discovering all this stuff, it's really neat. What the heck? Show some skill had <laughs> no idea what just happened there. Can you break the floor? Can you break the whole floor? Oh, you can. Neat. All the light planks you can break. I have no idea how long I've been recording. I haven't really been keeping track of it. Alright, so this is up here where the uh, ghoul climbed up earlier. He came in from over there. Ghoul climbed up that wall, came up here. This is where we killed all those guys with the, uh, the chandelier. This counts as a secret area? Fascinating. I do wish at the end of each level it would give you a, uh, a counter saying like, how many of the secrets you found out of how many. I think this is the way forward. It is. Don't want to go that way yet. Chop back down here and go up this ladder. Or rope, whatever it is. And then, come over here and drop down. Secret area. Whoa, what? That really killed me? That's a little embarrassing. That should not have killed me. I dropped off from the desk down to the uh, other thing. Alright, let's do that again. That's so weird. Yeah, the game's not perfect by any means. Oh, because crap like that keeps happening. Alright, let's play it a little safer this time. Drop down here. Drop down here. Stone skin potion. Scroll of fireball. Scroll of charm. Whatever that crap is. The Thonish Manuscripts. 
Many are the years that will pass before the shadow on the face of the sun does foretell doom. For then will the cage of light be made as weak as one of iron, and the taint of ages pass drift on the winds of the world. Then shall the king's bride bear another's child, and the dead themselves make war on the living and infernal alike. Seek not the skull of the seventh dragon, for it is wrapped in shadows and hidden away from the eyes of men, lest it be used for great evil. For that it hath wrought, it can unmake in the hands of one whose blood flows from two worlds. Well, that's actually pretty, uh, foreshadowy. You grab any books? I think that you can. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, this way it work. I'm gonna hard save before we go to the next area, just to play it safe. a chilly breeze. What was that? Then maybe we should cross the roof instead of just standing here. Alright, yeah, this is where you use the, uh, the old key that I found earlier. I don't remember what's at the top here, but... This is a nice, quiet place. Oh, too bad we have other things to do. I don't recommend jumping out of that. I don't think there's anything to catch you. All right. I think that's... Just so you know, dear, Menelag is expendable. The crystal isn't. What do you mean? The crystal was for Menelag. Menelag is convenient, that's all. What matters is getting the crystal to that temple, and you with it. Alright, so most of them sound like they're wounded. Oh crap! I keep hitting the wrong buttons. back upstairs make sure I didn't miss anything. I think the item that I kicked out of that thing fell down. No, it's right here. It's a health potion. Alright, so there's probably a secret up there. Okay, for the most part, when they come... As I was saying, when it comes to secrets, all you have to do is be thorough for the most part. There's a couple that are a little tricky. But for the most part, they're all kind of straightforward. Well, this, I guess, isn't a secret, but come on. I don't want to walk over there in case I fall off. Alright, down we go. I can go up and no up just the oh, never mind. Just takes me back up there. Oh, 
health potion, always handy. Another mana potion, also handy, if I ever start using magic, which... As of right now, I don't plan on doing. Hello? What was that? Hello? You won't make it. Nana. Nine of Jamus. I'll take your I go, old. But first I'd like some information. The plans of the temple. The spells for the domes. The traps. No. Real. Oh hey, I was down here earlier. Alright, let's go deal with this real quick. This might be the end of the level. Oh, they got the crystal. No. No. They have to chase that guy. Many of the years they'll pass with it. Uh, okay, we've already read that. All right, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying. I can't get out the window. All right, there shouldn't be any more secrets here. We just gotta chase after this darn ghoul. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? You gotta be a little more cautious here. Alright, we're gonna finish up this chapter, I think. At least chase this guy down, then we'll call it an episode. Well, how far back am I? Really? What was that? Don't try to run! Oh yeah, I stabbed it down the center of his back, down his spine, so they should have killed him. Alright, let's watch this again. I get frozen. Menelag dies. Go takes the crystal. Uncle! No. No! This is a ridiculous flail. Uh. Oh, let me go. Come on, let me out the window. Be careful not to drop down too far. All right. It's gone. Not if you follow it across the rooftops quickly. All right, I'm calling the episode here. In the next one, we'll uh, we'll chase the ghoul. Thanks for watching. Hope to see y'all in the next episode.